So guys, here I am. I'm still contemplating where to begin from. I haven't yet uh, made up my mind. But here I am. This is a place called Adam's Arcade. There's a mosque over here. This is the mosque. It's a very big mosque along Gong Road. Then this is uh, Adam's. And we have a mac fries here. We have a mac, crab, mac fries over here. This is how this area looks like. Then there's a... Uh, I don't know whether this is a... Uh, no, this is not Shell. Total Energies. So... I want to begin the journey. The journey of walking. I don't know how long. Yeah, and by the way, uh, this is just a random content that I'm doing. It is not something that I'd prepared for. But I hope it's gonna turn out well. So, yeah, let's see how it's going to uncover before I finish. Just again, this is another reminder, a humble one. If you haven't yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do so. Leave a comment. My name is Irene or Irene Blesser. That's my stage name. Blesser is my stage name. But Irene is my my name. Like it's in my national identity card. So yeah, and this is a place called Adams. Adams Arcade. So this is where I'll begin from. Then uh, I don't know how far we are going to move, but we'll see as we go. We'll see as we go. This is the most I'm talking about, and uh, it's like, oh, today actually today is on a Friday. That's the reason why I'm seeing Muslims coming out of the mosque. It's that busy. It's, it's full of activity over here. So oh, yeah, let's check it on. Let's move. Move on. Move, move, move. Here's the mosque. These are all Muslims out of the mosque. It's like on, on the side of the main sector. I don't know how it goes here. I have no idea actually how they operate in the mosques, but I'm only seeing men. I haven't seen a lady, even one. Yeah. Okay. I saw this building being constructed, and now I can see. Uh, Followers. Let me just call them followers because that's the name that I know. Yeah. This is the look. This is what it looks like. This is it. This is the mosque. This is the. These are the Muslim brothers over here. Yeah. This is the greenhouse. This is greenhouse for you. This is Ngong Road for you. This is Ngong Road. I think I'll keep I'll keep right here. Yeah. Let me use right because I also want to show you our Nakumat Prestige. Nowadays we don't call it Nakumat Prestige. It has a new name. Formerly it used to be Nakumat. A big chain of supermarkets we used to call it Nakumat, but now we have Naiva, so I don't know how to call it. But let's stick on Nakumat Prestige or Naiva's Prestige. So, yeah, I'll show you where it is. And this is how Ngong Road looks like. This is the feel of Ngong Road. This is how it looks like. This is greenhouse. This is greenhouse for you. It's a bit sunny, not really. It's not like it's hot, but 
but it's slightly hot just a bit hot so the surroundings over here this is how it looks like on this side and this is the road these are the buildings In case you don't know, my name is Irene again and I'm a Kenyan from the Nairobi city. This is Nairobi for you. This is Nairobi for you. And this is what we have along this road. Hmm? Commercial buildings, apartments, and these are Sell. These are cars for sale, I believe so. So guys, yeah, let's psych each other up. Please, you can only support me by watching my videos up to the very end. Also subscribing to my YouTube channel. That is how you're going to let this lady uh, travel beyond the world, beyond the continent, yes. I'm really expectant and I'm um, very, very happy and grateful for the support that you have been showing me. I cannot take it for granted. So, yeah, I believe we are on a journey and a good journey. Not just a journey, but a beautiful one. So I can't wait myself go beyond the continents that is my goal yes and I also want to educate you I want to educate you I want you to explore with me hmm? to explore the side of Kenya that you don't know yeah? up at night they make this place look beautiful for those who love hanging out in such places this is quiver lounge for you they say it's long uh, quiver lounge kilimani but this is gong road this is gong road beautiful building building sometimes I really wonder and somebody is like why are you recording me? And for sure you have no idea whether you are recording him or not. And actually the person who is saying that, eh, I wasn't recording him. He was not even in my mind, but I think it's just a way of uh, provoking me. I don't know what the provocation is all about. Huh? I don't know, I have no idea. So anyway, those are some of the chronicles, the downs that we experience while doing content. It's very normal, but at times it really makes us feel mad, yeah? We are human. Yeah? We are human. So, 
you are bound to to react and that's why I'm reacting it's very normal okay guys this is Ngong Road this is Ngong Road for you we are slowly approaching we are slowly approaching um, prestige yeah neighbors prestige Naivas Prestige, or rather Nakumat Prestige, used to be a very big mall then. Very big mall. We never used to have jun the junction. Either we had the junction, but Prestige was more busier. Then this used to be a hangout for so many, so many of us. It was a cool place to be. I don't know about today, but we used to love it then. We used to love it. This is where we used to bring our kids for outings yeah and it used to be a cool place this is long road this is long road all these are apartments others are upcoming they are mostly for sale most of them are for sale so guys if you're planning to visit Kenya be assured that you would really, really enjoy the experience here. The place is beautiful. The people are very friendly. Kenyans are very friendly people. And I believe even our rates are not bad. Yes. Our rates are not bad. So, here we are. This is a prestige junction. No, prestige stage. This is where people wait for the buses to board into a light. This is a, we, call, we call it a stage. I don't know how it's called in your country, but that's how we call it here. Or a bus stop. To be precise, let's call it a bus stop. Yeah, this is, a, this is what I, I was talking about. Then there's Naivas, Naivas Prestige. Got it, got it. <laughs> this looks interesting. It's interesting. Yeah, this is Nini for you. Prestige Mall for you. I hope I'm not only concentrating on one side. This is how it looks like over here. This we call them border borders. They are for easy transportation from one place to the other. And they are quite affordable and fast. So that is what is uh, commonly used by local Kenyans. So this is a uh, prestige. This is prestige for you. I'll also show you two junctions, one that leads us to Yaya Center and uh, all the way to, it goes all the way to Westlands, then I'll show you one that goes to Kibera, Kibera and uh, Langata. Yeah, it's a route to Kibera and, and straight on you'll find your way into Langata. So businesses here on the streets is very prevalent, very common here. So yeah, I'll make sure I show you what people are doing just besides the road. I don't know whether it's uh, acceptable where you can come from, but here in Kenya, it's not. It is not allowed. Eh? It is against the laws, but people just 
force themselves into doing some things unlawfully. So this is the junction, guys. This is it. Say something, then. Say my key to Basi. Yeah. Okay, good. So this is a junction, a T junction. So this is the road coming from Kibera, or rather Langata, Kibera. And the opposite one goes all the way to your centre, all along to Westlands. Then this is coming from town, city centre. Yeah, and this is uh, coming all the way from Ngong. Yeah. I hope you've understood me. I hope I've helped someone. So I need to cross now. I need to cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time I cross now. This is the traffic. This is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. So these vehicles are coming all the way from uh, Westlands. Some of them are coming from Westlands. Westlands, Kilimani, going all the way to Langata. A cowboy for you. And these vehicles are coming all the way from uh, the city center. These are coming all the way from city center. They need to be closer to the road so that we get a proper view. It's noisy over here. This is a highway, a very busy highway. More, more apartments. how this area looks like guys you see ni awacho to inaitwa aje bubble oh bubble gun Interesting. How much? 2,500. Where can they find you? Gong Roads? Prestige. Santi Sana. That's a Kenyan selling his stuff. And he was showing me a bubble gun. It has uh, bubbles inside, and uh, it looks good for 2,500. So for those who have young children, maybe you can uh, support his business. He's just along, slightly, slightly after Prestige, slightly after. That is the area he operates from. More cars for sale. More cars for sale. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> That's another building. That's another cute building over there. Looks like a looks like an apartment. Oh, it's muddy. It's muddy everywhere. Look, it's been raining. Still raining. The weather is uh, rainy. That's why it's wet everywhere. 
so I need to change my route or rather my side of direction and this is for those who live in Kenya they totally understand some of the old supermarkets that we used to have. This, this uh, building over here used to have a, a supermarket called Uchumi. These were the very, very old supermarkets that we used to have around. We had Nakumat and we also had Uchumi. Those were the most popular ones. Guess what? Guess what, my people? None is in existence. Like, they all crumbled. They were closed down. We hardly hear of these supermarkets anymore. So this is just a, a piece of what was left. The what? The signages. But initially, no business is taking place here. Hmm? Uchumi. Uchumi and Akuma. They used to be very nice, very good supermarkets. Guys, look. This is Kenya. This is Kenya and this is an apartment block. Very many units over there. Very many units. I hope you're enjoying this journey with me. Actually, I'm enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I think I'll take a photo over here. I need a proper thumbnail. I'll take a photo over here. Yeah. So let me look for a good angle. I also want to show you where our, our second president, the late Honorable Daniel Toroitich Arapmoy, where he used to reside. He had a home over here, so I'll let you see it. Not the home, but I'll just show you the direction from where the road begins, heading to where he used to live. It's just a matter of, I think, 100 meters long. So I'll definitely show you that. In the meantime, I think I need to take a photo. Okay. So here I am. Very busy today, busy um, showing you around. Yeah, and I'm really enjoying it. This is Ngong Hills. Let me show you Ngong Hills. This is Ngong Hills. This is one very old hotel over here. Very old hotel, Ngong Hills. So it's a long Gong road. So we are slowly approaching that junction where the late president, the second president used to live. So, so far we've had uh, Kenyatta, Jomo Kenyatta, he's also late. That was the first president. Then the second one was Daniel Toroichi Charakmoi. Then the third one. The third president, Mwai Kibaki. The fourth, Uhuru Kenyatta. He just uh, retired not so long ago, a year ago. Then we have the current president, the fifth one, who is William Ruto. So, so far we've seen five presidents after the colonial era. We've had five of them. So we gained our independence in the year 1963 and since, since then I can say Kenya is peaceful, this is a liberal country, we have the freedom of expression and all that. Yeah, Kenya is a good place to be and this is the place I was talking about. This is it. It's called 
Kabaka Barnet Road, along Gong Road. Used to live a few meters away from here, but I can't really spot the house and see where it is. But I know it's somewhere here. This is where I used to live. Actually, here he preferred his home more than the state house. Or what do I say? Humble. A humble man, yes. Just to let you know, Gong Road is also a rich suburb. This is not for the ordinary Kenyans. This is for the rich. Why, why is it for the rich? Rent is quite high here. Huh? Monthly rent is quite high on this side. Buying a house here can cost you an arm and a leg. Let me add a kidney as well. So it's quite expensive. And this is how it looks like. More cars for sale over here. I tell you I've really walked. I think I've now done like maybe three kilometers. But I'm glad about it. I ain't complaining. I'm happy. Happy, happy. We're on the road to 300 subscribers. I'm hopeful. Before we close this month, I'm really hopeful for 300 subscribers or even beyond who is God who is God I might ask for 300 and God decides to give me double the amount so let me leave it to God but in the meantime I must push it myself support my work through subscribing watching the videos till the very end yes and uh, I believe this journey will be a sweet one. I have a goal. I have my own goals to make. I have a bucket list to accomplish. But I can only do it through your support. I cannot do it on my own. So I'm really looking forward to your love towards my work. Kindly support. Subscribing is free. Very free. Like there's no money you're being asked to pay. Like a monthly fee. You just hit on that button and YOLA, you have it, yeah. African lounge. Let me announce this to you. When is it happening? Today. Today. Is today 12? Yeah, today is on the 12th. Rig East Africa lounge. Them gathering for the great outpouring. This must be a crusade or something. Yeah, because I'm seeing apostles. Looks like it's gonna be a big thing. Where is it going to be launched? 
at the Asarit Expo Center. Asarit is at uh, is at Westlands, yeah. So I've done free advertising, even though you'll get it a bit late. It'll be of no use. on a Friday 12th 12th of April and uh, this place looks a bit slow it looks like it's a weekend or something maybe it's because of the holiday that we had last Wednesday the Idul Fitri the Muslim holiday I don't know what really happens when a holiday falls in during the weekday it kind of affects the it kind of affects the business businesses so you find most people either indoors or I don't know whether they travel but it's kind of quiet over here so quiet this is China Center it's a bit quiet over here I think it affects the flow of business when a, when a holiday falls in during the weekday it really affects we are slowly approaching a Coptic hospital there is a hospital here a very big hospital not so so big eh? but I would say it's, it's a hospital that I can recommend to people even to the visitors to the people who visit our country it's a nice one. I think it's uh, run by Catholics, if I'm not wrong. It's called Coptic Hospital. That is where I am. That is where I'm almost getting there. It's opposite where I am. And here we are. Yeah, you see? Missionaries of Africa. I don't know whether it's Catholic or... I am not sure. But somehow it's run by a church, hmm? a church institution. It's called Coptic Hospital. So I hear they they are very good in uh, things to do with uh, chest chest issues. Yeah, they also have a maternity wing over here. It's a general hospital, but why am I saying it's a uh, they mostly deal with uh, chest problems. Maybe that is what they that is what they, they do. That is their line of work here. I don't know. I stand to be corrected, but I think they are good in that area. Chest complications. They were Jesus family. <laughs> I love this. This is one beautiful content creators, they love this family down to earth people, beautiful I guess here they were they were doing a face reveal for their second born daughter and that is why the the people is here so shout out you can go on youtube and subscribe them they are the Jesus family. There you go.
So our next points will be I'll take my stop or rather I'll finish the video at the city mock. The city mock. I'll show you where the city mock is. Don't be fearful. There's a day to be born and a day to, to die. So it's very normal. I hope you're not going to get scared. I'll just show you from a distance. Yes. At least you see what we have around in Kenya, the facilities. The government facilities that we have around. I love the I love how this road looks like like this in between it's like there's a small hill over there and uh, slightly ha ahead there's also another hill so the view is beautiful so beautiful that view is so beautiful to stay away from the road looks busy over here another reminder kindly if you are just tuning in or if it's your very first time here kindly subscribe to my youtube channel i have a hundred plus videos to watch can also go back and uh, watch them leave a comment and just by doing that you'll be supporting my work for the returning viewers god bless you so much please don't touch that dial keep on watching my videos and also help me where you can in terms of giving me tips on places to on places to to do content help me with uh, anything so long as it's pos positive also don't nini, mind criticism so long as you be polite on it eh? don't just be cruel come in a polite manner okay the Nairobi Baptist Church that's Nairobi Baptist The Nairobi Baptist Church. So Kenyans really love uh, worshiping. So in every place you walk to, you'll definitely find a church. Whether it's on the road, whether it's inside of the estate. Here in Kenya, we really love God. We do serious worship. Serious worship. So if you plan to visit our country, you wouldn't miss a place to, to fellowship. We also have mosques. For those who are not Christians, we have mosques around, so many of them. Yeah. This is the place to be. Kenya is the place to be. I'm marketing my country for free. It's the place to be.
looks like a, a stream. Don't know where it's coming from. Looks like a stream. Then we have these plants over here, so beautiful. Yeah, this one. And here is the city mock or a better term, the city mortuary or a funeral home. Here it is. This is a public funeral home. This is where deceased bodies or dead bodies are being brought before they are taken to other private mocks. This is where they come. Nezakuja. Nije uko. Saseni. Nikuwa ndaka kuonye shizo mauwa mefunika. Ndiyo wajue tuko kwa mog. <laughs> Saseni lakini. So this is what I was talking about. Yeah, this is a home for the dead. A mog. Asante, ya? Yeah? Uh, this is it. So I don't want to get any closer there. I'm really avoiding filming. You know this is a an emotional people are emotional over here. It's a private place. I think it wouldn't be fair me taking photos of people people who are mourning in mourning. So that is just the place. Maybe I can show you the main gate from a distance. These are some of the mourners around here. That's the funeral home. Nairobi funeral home. So this is where I'm ending my video. I think this is where I'll end my video. Okay. So guys, I want to say thank you for watching my video up to the very end. Thank you for always showing me the support. I don't take it for granted. Please let me know where you are, you've been watching me from. Let me know where you've been watching me from. This is the home. Over here. That is it. Let me know where you've been watching me from. So Kenya is my country. We love it here. And you are most welcome to visit our country and even experience more. So this is a ring blesser for you. Thanks for your time. God bless you. See you in my very next video. Love you and bye bye. This, I need to be extra careful over here. I bara 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 kuvuka di bala aje. Eh? Eh? You know na ini bara bara pia. No, tungoje traffic.
quite busy over here. Really busy. Kai. Jesus. Hey, my life matters. My life really matters. Yeah. Wow. That was a bit hard. Who are Sana? See Leo. Eh? Squingine. Squingine. Eh, na chukua tu video ya YouTube. Eh. Na nyinyi mko hali gani mnaendeleaje yani? Eh. Sasa si msalimi wa Kenya hapa. Hapa. Eh. Eh, Nyinyi couple. Eh? Nyinyi couple. Nyinyi ni bibi na bwana. Oh, unamsaidia tu? Oh brother. Aya. Ni miguu azizi tembea ama? Eh? Ni miguu zako ndio azizi tembea ama? Pole sana. Sasa maybe siku nyingine. Aya. God bless you. I've never been this scared. Uh, this highway is a bit complex crossing. So complex. I need to take my time. I really need to take my time. But not, not again. I don't know whether I'll come on these sides again. And especially on foot. My life is precious. It comes first. Wait, 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 wait. This is how it is. Hey, finally. I swear I was panting. I was shaking inside. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm just from that funeral home. The fears, you know? God forbid. God forbid. is the Nairobi hospital one of the most big and expensive hospital the reason as to why it's expensive I think it's because it has or it's yeah they have all the specialists here like all specialists from the brain to the heart to whatever yeah that's why it's expensive bones Maternity unit. And it's quite cozy, yeah? It's cozy. So the entrance point is on the other side. This is just the behind. And this is this road is still Gong Road. We are now at Kenyatta. Kenyatta Hospital. We are just near the hospital, the biggest hospital now. The biggest government hospital in Kenya. The referral hospital. People have been referred from as far as even Uganda. You know Uganda is another country. They refer them to this hospital because it's big and it's also have specialists. Good specialists. And on the other side we have a nursing school. 
can already see some of the students, the ones who are wearing blue uniform. There's a nursing school just here. Kenya Medical Training College. Yeah. This is the Nairobi Hospital. This is it. It's big. It's very big. And these are some of the students in that training college that I'm talking about.